These are solar panel connectors. In this video, I'm going to be showing you what these are and demonstrating how to make them. Anytime I'm doing a project and there's some kind of specialty tool being used that I haven't seen before, I don't have, immediately my mind, I'm like, I, I don't want to do it or, oh, I'm going to find an alternate route. That's the hard part right there. It's using a special crimper to crimp on the like silver end to the PV wire. So first off, you know who you are. If you shouldn't be working with electricity, if you're not qualified, don't do this. I don't want you getting hurt. I am going to demonstrate how to make one of these connect connections. So what you're going to do is you strip back the jacket of the PV wire and then you're going to take this uh, silver uh, tube and you're going to put it on the end of that strip back wire and then the tool is going to fit so that there's that U and the tool pushes that U in and kind of crimps it down onto the wire. The plastic component will slide over the top and you'll fill a a nice little pop and then you're able to tighten the end of the plastic part that's threaded it screws and it compresses and makes the connection watertight now you have two different um, connectors and you have two different types of the metal components inside of them those metal components are specific to the type of connector I'll show you a photo right here of which one goes to which if you get confused because it does get confusing so here's some best practices if you strip back your wire too far and crimp that on so that the wire is sticking into that metal connector sometimes you can get arcing it's almost like the electricity is trying to still flow through the wire and not the metal connector that you've connected on there uh, another best practice is you want to make sure that threaded portion is screwed onto the insulated portion of the wire when you're actually installing it a lot of times you'll have something like that and then that will start to break or pull out and then you'll have exposed wires there. But there's a reason why this is like the standard connection for PV wire. For one, it's rated specifically for the electricity flowing through these wires. Two, it's watertight. Three, safety reason, you can't accidentally disconnect them. In order to disconnect them, you really need to like pop in the prongs and pull on it. There's little teeth on here that bite in. When solar panels are under load, you should never ever disconnect them. You shouldn't. Let's get that out of the way. And really you shouldn't disconnect solar panels unless you know what you're doing. That connection stays. You don't want to install it and then undo that connection. That will cause, um, arcing electricity to still try to travel through that path and it'll it's extremely dangerous if you get shocked you could die if you don't get shocked it's still gonna you know arc in your face which is potentially damage your eyes and then there will also be a lot of heat associated with that where the actual connector would be damaged i'm gonna go ahead and include some links below to amazon and some other stores where I found kits to install these. And then I'll also include some uh, PV wire and maybe even some like pre-made connection. So you could just use those connectors uh, for your project if you're doing like a small DIY off-grid um, setup. Thank you for watching this video and I'm glad you found my channel. Please subscribe. And you can also check out a, another playlist with other videos that may be helpful to you.